when you get to those numbers, when you're talking about trillions and billions and the, all those zeros, my brain just goes numb. I, there's this lack of comprehension that I'm, I'm well aware of. Like those numbers get thrown about. I go, oh, 200 billion. Hmm. No, and it's just... I think everybody does. I think every, every scientist, that no scientist can picture that number. I mean, he, even the small number, 200 billion, <laughs> which is the, the number of stars number, right. in yeah. one galaxy. And then when you say two trillion galaxies, you, you know, that, that's, I challenge anyone to be able to picture that. But it is the reality that we've observed. We've, you know, we, I mean, we haven't counted all two trillion, by the way. We have, we have a thing called the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which maps the positions of galaxies. So you can, you, you know how much of the sky you've surveyed and you know how many galaxies you counted. And then you can spread that across the wider universe. And you get this picture of a vast and possibly infinite universe. I mean, we, we know that the universe, or, or very strongly suspect, that the universe is much bigger than the piece we can see. So we have good reason to think that's the case. Whether it's infinite or not is another question. And then that goes to your, you know, the, can you picture infinity? Well, no one can picture infinity. There's, no. a, there's, there's a weird thing as well that, you know, we, we say the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. So that's a measurement because we can measure the speed that all the galaxies are flying away from us, essentially. And then you, so you can run time backwards, if you like, to, to find out when they were all on top of each other. And so it's a quite a simple measurement, and we've done that. So we say the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. But actually, all we know really was the universe was very hot and very dense at that time. And we have some theories that the universe was in existence before that, and perhaps some sort of circumstantial evidence. And that means that actually the universe could, could have always been there eternal and then um, when, when i talk to people sometimes they get a bit some people get upset about that some people would rather it had a beginning <laughs> and yeah. the, the idea that it might have been around forever is more frightening somehow than the fact that it began and uh, it's it's interesting the way that people's minds work what what terrifies you the most an eternal universe or a finite universe yeah they're both incomprehensible the the eternal universe the w if there was an eternal universe, does that negate the theory of the Big Bang, or does it mean that there's a constant cycle of Big Bangs and then expansion and then recompression? Or Yeah, it could do. So those theories are back in vogue. Some of those theories are back in vogue again. So yes, some of them say that there's a, a cycling universe. Um, so the Big Bang is an event when space gets very hot and very dense and filled with particles. And that may happen again. Or some of the other theories, uh, there's a theory called eternal inflation, which is a theory that, and it's actually the most popular theory, I think, at the moment, for what happened, for why the Big Bang is the way that it is. Because it's got some very special features, the Big Bang, which we could talk about. But inflation is the idea that space, space-time was around before the Big Bang, and it was expanding extremely fast. And it was doubling in size in the most popular of these theories every 10 to the minus 37 seconds, which is point naught, 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 with 37 noughts, one of a second. So it's an unimaginably fast expansion. And then the idea is that draws to a close, so it quite naturally sort of dies away and the expansion slows down. And all the energy that was taken, that was causing that expansion sort of gets dumped into space and heats it up and makes particles, and that's what we call the Big Bang. And those theories, the slight extension to those, um, say that, that that slowing down just happens in little patches. So most of the universe, the overwhelming majority of the universe, is still inflating at that insane uh, sort of speed. And the just little patches stop, and they're big bangs. So you get multiple universes, a multiverse. It's called the inflationary multiverse. And we are in one of those bubbles. And that's one of the more popular theories.